It's a basket and one. For all, it's almost as much fun to play as it is to say. That was from the Frisbee Golf Championship, and I'm guessing the black guy is Frieger Foods, the world's greatest frothler, doing what he does best besides banging froth rupees. The best thing that ever happened to ball golf was when they miniaturized it, so why not froth? These courses take up a lot of real estate. We can't all live in Madison, Wisconsin. That's why I designed my own mini froth course in our froth offices. The first hole is a long par four that starts on an elevated tee pad. Experienced frolfers can trust their slice on the dog leg right or lay up and opt to bank it off the giant selfie. Once in the writer's room, the pungent winds guard the exposed green, which is of course the site of Fred Froffle's unforgettable meltdown in 95. Nice toss. <laughs> The next hole runs along the back entrance that everyone uses when they're late. The tight fairway opens to a Dutch crossdresser windmill that is short of a straight and sexually confuse even the most seasoned mini frolfer. The final hole is perhaps the most famous in mini frolf, with its iconic island green and pin placement centered in the ladies' shitter. Hey, hey! Don't move while I'm on the tee pad. I have to use the bathroom. Go in the woods. <laughs> oh, give me another disc. I don't have another one. Give <laughs> Membership fees are through the roof, but that's the price you pay to keep women out. 